Hi everyone, welcome back to TS Talk Sport. In this one, just doing my preview of our upcoming Premier League game against West Ham. Now, I don't need to go into our Premier League form. Everyone knows we haven't won a Premier League game in about two months now. And, you know, we really need to win this game. I believe it's Man City after this and no matter how bad they've been playing of recent, um, they're going to be confident playing us and they're going to be looking to get a result and bounce back so far. So if our players have got anything about us, if we've got any heart or desire, we really need to go out and get a result in this game. Now, for me, the one thing Freddie needs to do is to go out all out attack. Uh, he's been playing his, I don't know what sort of formations it kind of is these last couple of games, but, you know, we need to play the top players, play them in a position. And, you know, if we do that, we should get the result. And, and that's it. That's what we want. At the end of the day, we want to get the result, get the three points and move on and bounce back from this poor form. You look at Everton, and they've not been playing too well. You know, they potted the manager. They brought in Ferguson, Duncan Ferguson, and, you know, they bounced back with a great performance against Chelsea. So, of course, that's what we want to do. We want to get some results here. And I think that West Ham is an opportunity for us to get a result. Um, again, at the same time, it can be another banana skin and they're, they're going to be thinking this is a great time to play Arsenal. They're going to think they're, they're capable of getting a, a result in this game. So, for me, I'm going to get straight into my starting eleven for this game. Firstly, in goal, I'm going to go with Bernd Leno. Um, without him, we probably would have lost a lot more games and been, probably be closer to that bottom three at, at present. So, um, credit to him. At right back, I'm going to go with Hector Bellerin. He's been one of our OK players. You know, he's come back from injury. He's had a couple of performances where he's looked decent, a couple of performances where he hasn't looked too great. But, you know, we've got to get behind him. You know, as all these players say, get behind us. You know, I'm, I'm behind the players, but they need to start showing some performances because it's quite clear that some of, them, some of them have down tools. But, you know, I think if Bellerin has a good game in this one, you know, he's up and down that right-hand side and his final ball's good, I think we've got an opportunity to, to get a result here. At left back, I'm going to go with Kieran Tierney. I don't know why Kalasinac has been starting ahead of him these last couple of games. Don't get me wrong, Kalasinac hasn't been terrible in those games, but you know we signed Tierney for a reason, and the reason is to be playing him. And you know he's he's overall better, in my opinion, he's overall better left back because Kalasinac isn't that great defensively, and he's um he's better in the final third with the the final ball and stuff. So for me, it was quite simple that I'd go with. Um, Tierney over Kalasinac my two centre-halves um, it's a tough one you know I think Louise he's been a bit bit on ropes he's been a bit ropey since we've signed him for me I'd personally drop him out for this game I'd actually go over centre-half pairing of Socrates and Chambers now Socrates hasn't been too great of recent but I think him and Chambers was okay together um, in that first game against Newcastle uh, I don't think Rob Holding is yet ready to do the job um, in in the Prem and for me I would go with Socrates and Chambers in the middle of the park I would go with Torreira and Xhaka um, I think overall they're probably one of our best pairings in midfield I think Torreira needs to play that role just in front of the back four you know assuring things up and you know as long as he's doing that I think he, he will deal with a lot of the, the dirty work in midfield. Again with Xhaka, Xhaka's come back into the side and he's played well these last couple of games. So for me, um, you play well the last couple of games, you keep your shirt, you start this game. That's my my opinion on things. Just in front of them, I'm going to go with Meza Ozil. He hasn't been too great the last couple of games, but again, um, we know he's capable of creating stuff. And it, um, to be honest, if we go out all at attack, it's about time we see him creating stuff because people made all this big case for him to come back into the side. And don't get me wrong, I was one of those people that wanted to see him in the side and stuff. And But, you know, we've we got to start seeing things from these players because otherwise um, we might as well write things off and start playing some of, some of the younger players. That's my, my personal opinion. I'm not saying go all out under 23s and play them, but, you know, some players don't look like they, they, they've got all their heart in it. And, you know, I think... Whichever manager comes in next, you know, that's what he's going to have to do. He's going to have to analyse which players actually want to play for the club. And, you know, um, the ones that don't um, get them out, surely, but slowly, but surely. Um, off that right-hand side, I want to go with Nicolas Pepe. Um, why he's not been starting games, I'll never know. But for me, he needs to start this game. And I believe if he starts this game and, you know... I believe he's going to be dangerous down that right-hand side. And that's what we need, you know. I understand he may be good to come off the bench, but I'm sorry, that's what the likes of uh, maybe a Saka or a Nelson's for, to come off the bench if, you know, 20 minutes to go, 15 minutes to go, or 
and that guys like Smith Rowe also. But for me, Pepe needs to be starting this game. You know, he's our most expensive player, world record signing, and you know, when he's played, he's looked good. So I don't get why we would do anything different. Um, off that left hand side, I'm going to go with Martinelli. Um, you know, he well overdue a Premier League start. He's been playing well every opportunity he gets. You know, he's hungry, he's got desire. And I think that this will be a good game for him to start in. And I think he, he can really, you know, attack at that West Ham defensive line. And then up top, I'll go with Alexander Lacazette. Not, not Lacazette, I'll go with Aubameyang. Sorry, my apologies for that. I'll go with Lacazette on the bench. Um, you know, Aubameyang and Lenos, those two have been our, you know, our, our top players at the moment. And without them, we, we probably wouldn't, well, we we probably we definitely be nearer to the bottom three at present. So, um, I think Lacazette's a good option to have off the bench, along with the players I mentioned prior, like you know your Reese Nelson, Saka's, Smith Rose. Um, you know you have the likes of Guendouzi on the bench, also maybe a Kalasovac, a David Luiz. You know I think that's that's a decent bench, but I think that the team I've mentioned should be good enough to go out there and get a result. And these players need to show that they're actually fighting. You know. Um, they're obviously, they're down tools with Emery. At present, they look like they're down in tools with Freddie. And, um, you know, it's about time they see they show something. Not just for themselves. They should have some pride as human beings and footballers. But also to the fans. You know, fans are travelling, you know, everywhere, home away. Um, you know, I'm not fortunate enough to, to be able to get a season ticket or get access to many tickets to games. So, you know, to those fans that go to all those games, you know, credit to them. You know, they're putting in their hard-earned money into the club and you know it's about time that these these players um show them that they actually respect that so that's all from me i think that we can actually win this game by two goals to one i'd like to see us win it by two goals to one but it's all down to whether these players are going to actually um show a set of balls for once and you know do what's required of them but that's it from me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know your score prediction, what starting in the lineup you would go for for this game. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you go hit that subscribe button now. And I'll catch you next time.